Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl here. I hope you all are doing good. So today's topic which I am going to take is on again on BMC uh, incident management and we today what we are going to see is about the priorities. So you know in incident management for example if I go to incident management so here you see this impact and urgency and based on this impact and urgency the priority is selected this we all know but if uh, some of you may be not aware about this so there is a process behind this so what we do actually if you select uh, any impact then you define any urgency so then this priority is calculated based on certain calculations okay there are certain weights put under urgency and impact based on which this priority is defined so this is what we are going to see today now uh, let me go back here so first of all you need to go to here incident management from the uh, custom configuration incident management. so you can see here under this advanced option we have this priority and weight ranges impact values priority and weight ranges prioritization priority and weight ranges urgency value priority and weight ranges weight ranges okay so we will see one uh, each of them and understand that how it is can be defined it can how it can be changed and what is the uh, use of it okay so let me uh, first of all open this priority impact okay now here if i go and will not make any changes but i will explain you <coughs> so by default it is already defined and it is global that means it's accessible to everybody but we can also define it as per company so here you can see what we have done the impact we have defined and we have given a weight okay so the weight is like 9 for this extensive if I see significantly large then it is 5 similarly there is some weight or a numeric number given to uh, moderate and then for low or localized it is 0 so this is a weight we have defined it's any numeric number okay now uh, similarly if I go to this uh, prioritization right let me open this so here also what we do no sorry not this one so uh, here I define the impact weight similarly there is uh, one for the priority this is impact again no sorry just a minute let me see priority weight ranges uh, sorry sorry this is so impact and urgency values we will select and yeah so now i am at the right form okay now uh, I, for the priority um, sorry for the impact we have defined certain um, certain weightage we have defined similarly here in the urgency form so you define certain weightage for example 20 for critical so high also has certain value 15 medium also has certain value and similarly low has certain value so now we have Im uh, urgency and impact both we have defined in a form uh, which we access from application administration so we have certain weightage defined so now let's see what uh, what is the you know logic behind it so if i go here back so if i say uh, prior, uh, priority and weight ranges so let me open this form it's a little confusing so please bear with me so what I will do here let me search on this okay so here what we have defined that if priority weight range is 24 it should be critical ticket. okay here we have defined the priority weightage okay so 24 means it is critical and if it is less than or equal to 35 priority weight range that means it will start from 24 and 35 if it is between 24 and 35 so the priority should be critical that means if any numeric calculation comes between 24 and 35 the priority is critical similarly for high it is 16 to 23 so anything uh, which is between 16 to 20, 23 will be considered as high priority okay so these are all priorities which we which gets automatically selected so here we have defined a range so critical is between 24 to 35 high is between 16 to 23 
similarly we have this uh, medium from 10 to 50 now if I go back here and then I would go here to prioritization weight range so this form will basically now define uh, what impact I will select and what priority it will calculate so let me make a search on it so for example if I have selected an impact of extensive so impact weight is 9 then urgency I have selected as critical so weight of urgency is 20 so 20 plus 9 is 29 so by default <coughs> it will become critical because our critical our logic for the priority is that anything between 24 to 35 should be critical so by default it is critical so I'll show you similarly here if I click click create a new request for example I'll select global it can be also defined for a company so by default it is global significantly large 5 plus I will say low so 5 plus 0 is low so by default it autom auto automatically calculate sorry my bad so uh, by default it automatically calculated the priority as low because the weight is 5 and if I go here in the ranges it says that anything between 0 to 9 is defined as a low priority so th yeah, this is the way actually the priority is defined in incident management or any other application in BMC remedy so you can make changes to this you can define this priority as per your company policy based on weightage you can make changes to this either to the global uh, you know priority section or you can define your own priorities for the company then when you select the company those priorities will be available to you for selection and the weightage you can you know make changes to the uh, weightage impact urgency uh, weightage those numeric numbers you can change and then your priority will also change so for example in certain cases for example currently something is defined here as made medium but in your case you want to define this also as low then uh, then you can make changes in this priority uh, table and it will reflect in your application okay so this was a very short video on this priority understanding you can see it explore it more and understand it more so thank you thanks for watching my videos thank you